But rivals competition. I think they're both really looking good really for this, Alan. Yeah, thanks, Mark. Yeah, thanks, Mark. I think both teams think both here teams are going to be yeah. positive. They are, they they are set, set up to attack, attack so. I'm expecting a few goals. A few here. goals I don't here. want to put the mockers on, but I am expecting a few. Now you've got your chance to check on the lineup for the home team. Stefan Rufier starts in goal. Hussem Aua plays with Renato Sanchez in central midfield. And it looks good in attack with these two strikers. a little bit uh, he was certainly tested to guiding the pass through now just the keeper to beat off the keeper back into play goal they hit back straight away great reaction no time to sulk about conceding they have scored at the other end it is uh, level both sides have scored here now intercepted well Samuel Callum. Trying to find the opening, which we, and he could get away here. Still a chance in there off the goalkeeper. Well, he certainly wasn't basking in the glory of the first save. The game continues. Uh, you know what goalkeepers are like. He's probably disappointed it was such a simple second save. Uh, but he certainly showed us what he's got a few moments earlier. Yeah, no wonder his teammates are thanking him because they didn't give him much help there, actually. Lala, Renato Sanchez. Game still level, but the pressure might be counting. Callow, he's got possession back to his team. Barella, Nicola Barella. Sanchez with the Politano. He can cross it now. Neymar. Alexis Sanchez. Difficult for the defender against the player who wants to take him on like this. Remy. Neymar. Remy. Now it's Remy. They could go in front here. And a goal, and they've taken the lead through it. Hey. Off we go again, 2-1. Saw it coming, cut it out, good work. Neymar. No. Taking on the opposition and the responsibility as well. Neymar! Well, what a vital tackle! But the pressure's still there! Chance to cross it. What a good interception. They can be quick on the break now. Really in the clear now. In on goal. 
Real chance now. It's an own goal. Oh, you got a feel for him there. Well, it's level again in the match. What a roller coaster ride it's been. Tackled well. Didn't want the referee to blow his whistle, and he hasn't. So often you see it. It's a bad tackle, and he blows straight away, but the advantage is played. Makes the challenge here. Camera. Here's Renato Sanchez. Politano, Barella. It's good work here in terms of possession. Can they find the final pass? Only partially away from danger. PK. Acuna. Well, they use the forward in these positions, dropping deep. He lays it off and they play from there. Neymar. Callou. Now they're looking to get forward from this position. Villa. Trying too hard, really, and losing the ball because of it. <laughs> now, can he now, take, can them he take them on? Looking for goal now. Off the post. <laughs> Delivery to the far post. Put away, but not out of harm's way. He can't put them in front. It's a goal which really defines the way this team is playing. Well, look at it there. They're absolutely delighted. It does take a lot of hard work, but when you get a reward like that, it's well worth it. So, you know, and the most badass thing, this wasn't in any of the clips. You knocked him out, you go. Well, you could see what he was trying to do. Two seconds it was just like, slowly. but it was like, it was like, it's don't count. Like that's yeah. what I was thinking. Yeah. When I landed it, and I just felt him disappear out of my hand, I said, it's over. <laughs> that's a bad ball. It's, I mean, they're not bad. Bro, bro a hinder of an angel has been stuck in my head for the past week. Remember that song? Hearing the name, it sounds so sweet. Coming from the lips of an angel. And the you don't remember that song? No, Must be a generation thing, bro. I forgot, I forgot how young you are. 21. 21, fresh off a knockout. Bro, you're basically the champ of the world. I'm 10, right? You are champ. Like, shit. You are champ. Everybody bro. else is champ. Where's your belt? Seems all set. Someone ready. Else. All right, hey, welcome back to Apollos, the number one podcast in the world. Thank you guys for listening, watching, viewing, and subscribing. Normally, Mike and I have a little dialogue before the guest walks in, but right now I'm to do it with Ryan, my boy Ryan, who, if you guys saw his last fight, knocked out Francisco Fonseca in a minute and 20 seconds. Probably the most brutal, vicious, cleanest knockout I've ever seen in my life. And uh, this is one of the first stops you're making, so thanks, bro. Yeah. Well, not again, by the way. Yeah, no problem. It's always a pleasure being here. Yeah, bro. The, thank you, bro. The first thing you did when you got here is you, you asked me to shower. Yeah. Where have you been? I've been everywhere but home. Yeah. So it's like we, we try to get a hotel, but there's no hotel rooms available. Like on Saturday, there was none available anywhere you went. How come in Anaheim? Anaheim, oh, no way. LA, so everywhere we asked was like sold out. So me and my mom. Went for it. Road Warriors? Reservoir Dogs? Something like that. You know what I mean, Ryan. Who is this? So that's what I'm asking the champ of the world, Ryan Garcia. Oh, Ryan Garcia, yeah. The, oh, the guest. Did you start the show? Yeah, we did. Where are we at? I don't know. Like, we, we we the show was supposed to start at 3 and it's fucking 4.15. Because we were just talking about how Ryan showered. And then before he went in the shower, He's like, yo, do you mind if I jog in the treadmill a little bit? Are you always working out? Man, I, if I don't work out, I, I, I feel weird. Like, right now, I feel a little like... You, well, you jumped around for like 10 minutes. Yeah, I had to do something, or else I would have felt weird. Ryan, that's unusual. Most people feel weird when they work out, because it's like hard to do and shit. Well, I really dead ass, I feel so weird right now. I've heard, I've heard that. 
That's like uh, Kevin Hines. There's a lot of people that are like that. They yeah. need that that release. I'm the same way. If I don't work out for like a week at a time, I'll feel like a like a potato, like a pig. Yeah. I'm I'm actually not like that at all. Yeah. I can. I mean, no, bro. I will not work out. I'll I'll, I'll feel fine. Like, I really only do it like aesthetically to to, to look. Good. I don't even. But I, you're not really like a human person. You know what I'm saying? You're like a like a robot. Uh, okay. I've heard of that conspiracy theory. It's about him. You know, he's a robot. Because we did the whole uh, reptilian overlords with Alex Jones, and I think it's... I, I'm not. I'm Too many to the marriage. I'm not one of them. I, I want to I play this knockout uh, for those of you who did not see it. Uh, it happened in a minute 20 seconds, the first round, and I was actually at this fight. It was, it was one of the coolest uh, fights to be at. Check it out. Uh, do we, wait, do we have audio? Right. It could be in behind the back line. Great place here. I'll save that story. Go ahead, Sergio. No, he set up that hook hook and went weak. Bro, I'm telling you, in real time, you can't even see your hand move. Right on the button. And straight sprawls out on the mat. And uh, didn't, didn't move for, I mean, we were in the 20 seconds. Just just standing still, or uh, laying down, still is a still thing. I just started praying for I saw that, yeah, you moved down next to him. Um, at what point did this become, like actually scary like you may have severely hurt this man i just looked around and it was like everybody instead of celebrating they were just shocked yeah so i was like at that point i was like not moving everybody's around let me just take a knee for I, I was literally praying before i got into the ring if there were so many cameras there they had to catch it i was praying saying like just have a wake up because i knew i was gonna knock you prayed for him before before exactly. the fight before the fight i said I said god just wake him up it's not noble. I mean, it's the right thing to do, but also, I, I, I wonder, like, in having some boxing experience, you have to have a killer instinct, but also, uh, sounds like you're doing a good job at st still being a human. But, like, I remember when Mike Tyson was talking about eating his opponent's babies and shit. Oh, yeah. You trying to eat any babies? No, that's why. That, this is what me, it's like, I do it for the love of the game. I don't do it to kids. Like I told everybody, that's just why. So, so I'm just, I'm just like, I need to do something spectacular, and if you get knocked out cold, I just pray you wake up. That's all I, that's all I ask. We were talking before the podcast started, you and I, and we were, we were, it was interesting to watch you like revel in how even excited you were about the knockout. Yeah, I know, I know everybody's shocked by that, because like, I've seen so many knockouts on my boxing just Yeah, for sure. So I was like, I've seen so many knockouts, and even myself, I look at my knockout, and I'm just like, that's probably one of the greatest knockouts I've ever seen in my life. <laughs> on, I passed me, like, I'm not even lying, like, that shot was so perfect, so in between yeah. a punch, yeah. such in a blink of an eye, it had timing, it had speed, it had power, it had shock value. Yeah. I was blown away by that shit. We were we were a couple we were what like three three four rows back. And, oh my God! Do you see the the, the cut? Yeah. The yes. yeah. <laughs> that was, that was classic yeah. as fuck. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They, they, they pointed the camera at me and like Neymar. shit for two minutes. I was just Jay too. We Jay was like, because well, oh, you know you don't, you don't, I, I guess you just aren't seeing those kind of knockouts, especially in your your division, dude. The the yeah. What um what do you think you do attribute your um your success to in your wins because now that now that's two first round knockouts that I've seen very cold first round knockouts against very worthy opponents by the way I would say um, contributed to me getting older when I was growing up I was 17 so I, I knew I had the right mindset I knew what I knew I would do I, my body wasn't going to do it yet um, so that's one factor another factor is since I was already thinking like that, but I didn't have the body to do it, so I was thinking of other ways. Like, how do I catch people in between something? I was paying attention to every detail of, like, a match. So I would think when I spar, like, catch him right here, he wouldn't expect it. So I was always practicing the little inches, like, I would catch him. Yeah, just throw some shit. The precision. Yeah, the precision. So, true to that. And then just my work ethic. I know that nobody's going to do what I do. Nobody, nobody even wants to hang out with me for a long period of time. For a week, living with me would be very hard. Like, nobody likes like being around me for a week. I do weird shit. Like, like right now, I was gonna really run, but I didn't. I didn't want to like pause the whole thing. But like, I literally, my mind was saying, "No, you have to." 
Right. Brian Garcia comes in. Before. He's like, yo, you got a shower? I was like, yeah, no problem. He's like, wait. Can I use your treble before I shower? I'm like, like well, I'm like, you actually, this is actually two, two uh, podcasts in a row that you've done with us that you were exceptionally late for. First time you actually didn't <laughs> fucking show up. And, it's, and the, usually I would throw out some sort of like empty threat here, like a violence. But honestly, I'm not going to. I like these ladies are fucking lies. What are we? Eating? And by the way, wait, 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 wait. By the way, might be saying. See a lot of shit. Yeah, I just want to. I don't know what. Like what? That looks fucking crazy. Like some fucking crazy shit. Mike's life. 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 Mike's you got the best best friend in the world. Oh, so I don't fucking know oh, that. I know. Okay. I know. We got a we got a cool little thing. Oh, but honestly, dude, I don't. I don't know. Where the fuck's his surprise? Oh, it's coming. His birthday's April. His birthday's April first, bro. You best beliefs. So uh, fucking right. crazy. We're, we're working on some. Max looking at me right now. Working on some shit right now. Okay. But yeah, dude, I don't know. It's just it's it's like. I, how do you I feel? Put, Let me interview you. How do you feel? Nah, don't, please don't. <laughs> the, fans, the fans do not want, the fans do not want that, just, they get, they hear enough of me. But, uh, no, I don't know, I just, bro, for me, it's like a roller coaster. Like, literally, like, straight, like. No, he says it, but the shit I've read is like, what are you talking, it's a roller coaster, bro. It's a, I, I wrote about this in, in, in my, in the last few pages of my book the other day, about how it's a roller coaster, and I make believe that it's a roller coaster, but in reality, I'm, like, actually steering the fucking shit. Yeah. But I pretend, oh, so, I don't know. This is a crazy ride, ride. we made it. <laughs> I'm not ending up with this situation. Don't like craving the fucking roller coaster. <laughs> Fuck, this ride's crazy, dog. Bro, you also have to imagine, like, uh, I don't know how long you've been like, but 10 years ago, like, I, that was not this dude sitting here, bro. You, uh, you're looking at, like, a, like, a severely, uh, evolved? like, a, like, a, like, a, I'm just gonna say yes. some answers here, like, an overweight, uh, not passionate, well, I was passionate about some things, it's not the kind of things that people yeah, 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 yeah. Like, so <laughs> his life is really taking a 180 degree shift. I, I tell him every day, I'm like, bro, you in particular, life, life hit him with the boot. Ooh, life, life hit him with the boot. And all of a sudden, everything's great. I know, it's good. Oh, hold on a second. That's, oh, not, that's hey, not even what What do you mean, bro? No, there's, not, there's no boot where life is automatically great, dude. There's, there's 10 years of, of war yeah. where you come out and you lick your wounds, which are massive 18 inch wounds all over my body that I still have forever. And you spend <laughs> just scar tissue, everything. It's crazy. Like, oh, yeah. <laughs> 18 inch wounds and shit. I'm like, Damn. I'll show you some if you want. Oh, yeah. <laughs> and then you and then you spend ten years rebuilding and then you get to the then you get to the boot. Yeah. You know what yeah, I'm saying? Yeah, all, yeah, yeah, every, yeah. every boot that the viewer sees out there, because that's what it looks like. Ryan's boot, your boot. Yeah. All those Jesus like, yo, one day they blew up. Always has 10, 20 years of I, prior to the boot yeah. behind and it. And I don't think people truly understand this fact. Like, but everybody yeah. thinks like it's overnight. This thing happened overnight. We, but it took everything you had in you to get over so many obstacles. Like, right. And that's in anything. Somebody does something great. It's like if you would have seen the journey, you would be like, fuck that. Fuck that. And, 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 and we know, we know you anecdotally. We've known you for what two, three years now. Yeah. So we've been, we've been a part of the company. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, Crazy, bro. And you, how do you feel? Like just seeing that, it's, like it's, it's, that bro, it's one of the coolest things ever. Legit, like these guys know there's nothing more fulfilling uh, to me than fe- seeing my friends succeed. And, and all right, how do you know thing. something was special? Like, what, what, because I wasn't really that big about yeah, you. Yeah, yeah. Um, so I'm, obviously you blew up on social media. Like you were the social media phenom, yeah, yeah. right? The social media phenom boxer, and that intrigued me because you were also a badass. And then people started chirping, like, "Yo, is this kid just a pretty boy?" Can he take a hit? Is he a real grizzly boxer? And then you do know who I actually uh Hello to you on a crack Yeah. I, I was like I was like you're saying this old trapper. Guys I'm down to the They were saying to knock me out yeah. everywhere. They were saying that like I heard it all. Lee Dixon. Like, well, and on the menu for you does. is a diverse rivals game. Like that. Right. Right. So I can't wait for it. So I'm like Okay, why is the dude I thought he was? Right. And then this one, same thing. Bro, before we uh, watched your fight, I got people telling me, like, yo, this, this one's not for this. 
right. People were messaging me, saying they, they bet against you and shit, and I was like, they were like, yo, this is a tough opponent, and I, like, you are always, for me, it was always your confidence, also just watching your, your tape, it's it's your speed. Like, your speed is undeniable. You know what I'm saying? Like, you're, you're a fucking lightning bolt. Like you, like you said, you could have missed that left hook. No, I, By the way, I did miss it. The only reason I saw it was because I was, because I watched that. The, the, uh, replay, if you watch his face after the knockout, He's like this. I'm just looking up just to watch it back because I missed it. Real time. No, he's got the initial if you watch yeah. the little, the little post. I, was, the formation. Most I, people on the I can't even see it. I don't think the frame will catch it. This was, this was the ring side view. This is one of the knockouts I can watch. I can watch a thousand times. Did you see Are you serious? Rini. It was so bad, yo, man. The most badass thing just wasn't in any of the clips. You knocked him out. Remy. Bro, Bro hey, it was just like, like, but it was like, it was like, that's what I was thinking when I landed it, and I just felt him disappear out of my hand. I said, like, don't count. I, and then I, I walked off like, I just felt like, it's, well, I mean, I mean, you kind of Okay, you are, bro. However, I will say, you know this, dude. Like, you gotta stay, gotta stay humble, right? And you're, you're, you've, been, you've been phenomenal at that. This Ryan I'm talking to now is the same Ryan I talked to two years ago. And the thing is, like, the reason I can't stop is because everybody put me down so much coming up that I always remember. Like, I always remember them saying I want a mountain. So they really fucked up. But that gave me the mentality to say, just to ignore it. Just say I'll see when I see. Like that's my mindset. Like I'm gonna keep the pressure. You think I'm not gonna do it? Or I'm gonna. Do it? What's uh? What's that? Who's next? Jorge Leonard. Oh, okay. We watched him fight before your fight. Great performance, right? Fast. Yeah, yeah. Old line versus young line. That's what it's about. And I'm announcing it right here on Impulsive. We're gonna fight. We're gonna fight Jorge Leonard at the Staples Center sometime in July. July 11th. There you go. Where do you see that? Steps in our design. Well, I'm I'm the end. Design. Nice, nice. Damn, so the design. announced on Impulsive. That fight's gonna be crazy. Um, so I, I actually, I don't blame you for this, but the nearest came to a couple practices when that first fight against KSI. You spar, you spar him. Yeah, I didn't spar him. Um, but I, I didn't know he was fighting on your card. And I saw the fight right before you. Also had a very good fight. Good fight. Um, now he's alright. But that's now he's alright. And now he's our fight. Right. Right. Whether yeah. he's in or not. It's my time. No, you're, you're the fucking room. Exactly. Yeah, I'm like exactly. telling him straight up. Like, he had his shot. He had his shot. And he, he got another shot to make. This would be great with me. He has an opportunity. But I'm telling you right now. I believe you. I, I, I 100% believe you. It just is like, like I, I like, I like Jorge I, he's a great guy. <laughs> no disrespect. And the way he was a Hollywood fighter. A Hollywood fighter. They want to see me against him because he's an ex world champion. He had a good stretch going on. He had a great knockout last fight. Yeah. This is another chance to shock people. Like I said, all 2020 is about shocking the world. I want I want to fight people that they're like, there's no way my going to He's losing this fight. And I'll be like, I'm going to stay on the block. Well, when you shoot, you put your head down, you aim so fast. Target. Sometimes you just miss it. I can keep up with my motor. I'm a, I'm a new Ferrari. He's an old Ferrari. He's but running out of gas. I got a full team. Neymar. <laughs> 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 Fuck you, man. Where does this Where does this go? Now they've lost it. Where Where does this Where does this go? You fight Linares. And then I fight Luke Campbell. He's from the oh. UK. He's a big fight. What's the hot? Just so people that are watching this and, and people like me know. What, what? What's What's the highest? Like, where does it sit? What's the highest this could go to? I can take it as far as I want. But check this Rainy. out. Dude. I put out a plan last year. I said, I want to prove the world. I want to shock the world. So I, I stepped up to a guy that Javante fought. He didn't do that good. And I beat him. Okay, that was the first step. That was the first step. Of it. Then I said, I want to fight a veteran. So let's get Jorge Linares in there. He's still fast. He's still got knockout ability. He shocked the world on that Then let me go fight an Olympic gold medalist, Luke Campbell, that gave Lomachenko a hard time. You know, I'm beating him. Then I'm gonna fight Dave. I'm talking about Javante Davis, the man that people fear. Man, it's like Sonny Liston back in the day. If you don't know, you're not familiar with the story. Sonny Liston, actually, everybody was fearing him. Muhammad Ali was the only one not fearing him. Everybody's like, Muhammad Ali, you're crazy for Javante to fight Sonny Liston. And knocked him out got that swag pick. And I'm gonna have deep pick over Javante Davis.
have I'm screaming. I'm fucking cold. Dude, just you just knocked out in the mid-20 seconds. You got eight rounds. Not only, did he, not only did he do eight rounds, he didn't really get knocked out. He got hit in the back of the head. And they gave Javante a decision. Javante had watched a little bit of that fight. Javante was backing up. I was like... Did you even see me worried in the fight one second? I, don't know. I was so comfortable in there. Did you even sweat? I didn't sweat. I didn't. I didn't do shit. But, but be focused on the knockout. Because I knew it was coming. When I started touching him, I was like, oh my god, he's going to walk into something. I was like, I just need to make him comfortable. He's very scared of that power. When I hit him with the first one, I kind of stumbled. Right then and there, I was like, alright, if I keep doing that, he's not going to want to fight. So I was like, let me let him. Let me make him he has been deemed to be offside, not by Moxley. Brilliant, brilliant appreciating that. Look at that, spot on. Really calculating everything we're doing. That's why I said they won't be able to keep on my motor. Suzuko. My motor's moving too fast. I just know those old dogs got, they got tricks, bro. That's that's a good point. And they're vets. They know shit. And that's what that's what we're gonna see, right? That's what we're gonna see. What tricks is he gonna bring out? And I want to see it, and if he hits me, fuck it. How, how many times are you going to I'm going to come at you. What do you, what do you think about this whole new, like, wave of tension that's been coming into the boxing world the, uh, social media? Are you, I mean, still obviously, you're, you're at the forefront of First of all, first of all, I'm bringing this hype shit back. I'm bringing, like, people want to see those fucking fights now. They're hyped, like, back in the day. Facts. This is, and I'm doing it now. I'm not waiting. I'm not gonna wait years. I said I want to be out here by 26. Six years, I'm done. But I'm gonna create so much fucking hype. And then I'm gonna live on forever. Underway, Why would I wait till I'm 30, 40 to quit? One, I want to be old. If I'm done, 26. I'm gonna be in love and make a movie. I don't know. We'll make, a movie. Yeah. make a fucking movie. Yeah. We can fucking. <laughs> we can do whatever the fuck we want. Yeah. Yeah. Amazing shit still. Inspire people still. But right now, I'm inspiring people through the sport, uh, through my love of the sport. But at the end of the day, I want people to fall in love with the passion I have for you. You, you think you could turn that that love off when you hit 26? You sure, you'd be able to walk away. That's what we have to see. That's what we know. Because when you keep, winning. that's what we're gonna have to see. Because I love it so much. And for me to walk away at that would probably be the hardest to survive. Right, and and by the time you get the bags are gonna be huge. I mean, I'm sure. I'm sure you're already making massive, yeah. massive bags on these fights. Yeah. See your mom's Gucci oh, shit. Yeah, my mom is, my mom is living it up right now. But that's what I want. I want my mom to be just sick. She's awesome. Man, she's awesome. Mm -hmm. She's the coolest thing. She's been with you these past few days. I saw her walking through the entire shit. She don't want to leave me alone. She's like, what is happening? My mama does not want to leave me alone, dude. But it's all love. That's your mom. She wants to go to clubs. Yeah. You've been partying the past few days, yeah. Mm -hmm. I want to say party. I'm just enjoying it. I'm just celebrating the victory. What does that mean? Shit. <laughs> James. What, man? This is Delph. Sizoko. An important interception. Hello, Baba. Assalamu alaikum. Asha. And the defender finding a solution to the problem. And Ronaldo Sanchez. We've been having a good time, though. Yo, you have to because we go to camp. You have to because you're so serious. Yeah. I know. Okay. I had to check myself. Like I party after my fight. Then I asked Van der Hoef, one of the best fighter, one of the best heavyweights ever, be everywhere. I said, Hey, Van der, because I was on family feud, but um. I said, Evander Holyfield, I said, he paused, I knew what that meant, he goes, yeah, I party. So I was like, all right, we good here. Well, this would help them get back into the game. Well, that's fine goalkeeping, real concentration. Yeah, I mean, my God, you had to go hang out sometimes, though, outside of, I agree, yeah, just chill shit, I don't know. Coffee or some shit. I just want to feel clear who got the last still, still gone. Really? Really? There's a piece of it off. I thought you were going to say he asked you what you just sent him. Because... <laughs> uh, <laughs> no, no, his dad asked him. His ear is still off. He never put it back on. You know, you know Logan got the same amount of points taken off his card as Tyson got off the fight as No, I'm dead serious. Right, I, you were commentating the fight. Yeah, 